Today, the second time in a row, I have a completely different kind of a laser engraver to show you. This is the COM Marker B4. It is a 20 watt fiber laser marking machine. This machine excels at engraving all types of metals and some plastics as well. In this video I will show you how fast and precise it is, what materials it can engrave. You will also learn how to quickly make great designs for engraving, I will also test the high quality rotary system you can get with this machine. I will also show you cool tricks for using this machine in serial production. You will also see how to make very deep engravings, how to use this machine to clean coins and perfectly remove rust from any surface. With this laser, you can also engrave in color. Watch this video to see what this machine can really do. You get a lot of stuff with this laser, including a very high quality rotary chuck and better laser safety goggles, a foot switch and two lenses. One lens for smaller and more precise engravings and one for larger ones. You also get a solidly built distance frame for handheld operation. This machine does not have moving parts except the motorized Z-axis which is used for focusing and it can also be manually adjusted for more precise focusing. The machine is focused on a set distance from an object. You can measure it with a ruler or observe when the three red laser dots align. When they align, the machine is in perfect focus. The COM marker before can be controlled with the EasyCAD 2 software which is the standard for most fiber lasers. But this one can also be controlled with the Lightburn which has recently started supporting fiber lasers too. I used both in this video, but I mostly used Lightburn which I am more used to. Galvo lasers don't have moving parts and because of that, they are approximately 100 times faster than a normal laser. Let's engrave a simple design I made with Kittle to show you how fast it can really engrave. This laser is lightning fast. This video is playing at real-time speed. It also has a very small focus spot, which enables it to engrave very detailed text. Let's measure the focus spot with a simple interval test, together with some small text at different speeds and power to see how precise it is, and measure its laser spot size. The focus spot is very small, approximately 0.05 millimeters in size. This laser can engrave text as small as 0.3 millimeters at very high speeds. Here is a tip of a ballpoint pen for comparison. At 1000 millimeters per second, it starts to lose some of the precision which is expected. This is a very high speed for such small movements. At 3000 millimeters per second, it loses even more precision, but here you can see the effect of the frequency parameter. The default lens of this laser has a working area of 110 mm square. You can also get the bigger lens which expands your work area to 200 mm. The bigger lens also has longer focusing distance. With a bigger lens, you get a slightly bigger laser focus spot size and a bit less power for engraving. I did the same interval test with the 200 mm lens and here are the results. With this lens, the laser beam is approximately 0.1 mm in size. Here I engraved a large bitmap photo using the 200 mm lens. The engraving was done at medium speed of 2500 mm per second and 30% power. It took only 8 minutes to engrave this large image and the result is perfect. Conventional laser would need several hours for the same engraving. Fiber lasers emit very short pulses of light. The average power of these pulses is the specified power of the laser which is 20 watt in this case. 
but these pulses can reach 100 or even 1000 times the laser's rated power, because they are very short. This is why these lasers are very good at engraving metals as the high-powered pulses vaporize metals instantly. By adjusting the frequency, you can set the intensity of these pulses. You can imagine these pulses like hitting the surface with a hammer. Low frequency can be represented with a large hammer and a high frequency is a small hammer. With a small hammer you can produce a lot of very small hits, while with a large hammer, you can only produce a few powerful hits at the same time. This causes the laser beam to produce a different effect at different frequency at the same power setting. We can see that the lower frequencies are used to remove a lot of material and produce deep engravings while the high frequencies are used more for cleanup and polishing. You can also get a very dark engravings on stainless steel. Using low speed and 4mm defocused beam you can produce very durable and dark engravings on stainless steel. This does not come off easily, not even with the use of abrasives. And here are some quick tests on aluminum. This laser is very powerful and it is removing a lot of material from the surface. Here I did another cleanup pass, covering half of the shapes. With some combination of the settings, you can get very different results. High speed, low power and high frequency produce a polishing effect. You can use this effect for cleaning dirty coins or removing rust. If the power is set low enough, it does not mark the metal, it only vaporizes the dirt. Thanks to its high speed, it can be used as a very fast tool for removing rust from very difficult parts. It instantly vaporizes rust. Here I did another cleanup pass across half of it, to achieve perfectly clean surface. This laser is also great for engraving on anodized aluminum. Once again, I got some vector shapes from Kittle to make a quick design to be engraved on a custom dog tag. This laser can also trace the individual vector shapes with a red light so you can precisely position the engraving on the workpiece. Kittle is great for making custom-made and professional-looking designs in just a few minutes. This is great for people like me, who don't have much experience with graphical design. They have a large repository of ready-made templates which you can customize to fit your style. With this cat tag, I set up a lot of layers to get different colors of engravings. Thanks to the COM marker's small focus spot size, you can create very small stuff like this. When engraving cylinders, your design will always get distorted. You can get around this with cylinder correction in Lightburn or EasyCAD. In the preview you can see how it corrects the geometry to take into the account the roundness of the surface. The result is perfect. The difference is obvious if compared to the non-corrected logo. Thanks to its high speed, you can use this laser for series production. With my blue diode laser engraver, I cut out a wooden template for engraving shopping cart coins. For 16 coins it took only 2 minutes to finish the engraving process. You can engrave large quantities very fast, and this enables you to earn more than $100 an hour with this laser. This way, the laser can pay for itself very quickly. You can use this laser also for marking serial numbers or custom text in a series production.
Lightburn and EasyCAD support automatic serial number increment. If you use the included foot pedal, you can quickly engrave serial numbers or barcodes on your products. It can also automatically engrave the current date and time. You can also import predetermined text from a CSV format. Each engraving job chooses a text from a new line in the CSV file. The COM Marker B4 works with the same wavelength as the X-Tool Infrared Laser Module which I have tested a while ago. This is why it is also very good at engraving black acrylic. But this effect only works on black acrylic. It melts the acrylic and the engraving pops out and is very durable. If anyone knows why it only works on black acrylic, leave a comment below. You can also use this very solid looking rotary chuck for engraving cylindrical objects. It is heavy and feels very high quality. It has spring-loaded jaws. The clamping force can be reversed by changing the direction of the spring. With the jaw you get a lot of differently sized pins, which enable you to clamp any type of cylindrical object. Let's try to engrave a ring to see what level of detail you can get. The setup in Lightburn is simple. You need to select the chuck type and the correct rotary axis and the correct steps per rotation for this chuck type and of course set the object diameter. The black layer is the outline and the blue layer is used to fill in the shapes. The engraving came out very nice. Let's try to make another very detailed engraving on the inside of the ring. I have set the jaws at an angle and reversed the clamping spring. This machine is capable of engraving with an amazing precision. Now I will show you how you can use this laser for removing the paint from stainless steel cups. Low power and high frequency don't mark the stainless steel, but can effectively remove the paint. I also made this design in under a minute using Kittle Logo Designer. It can really bring your work to the next level with no special knowledge required. With the right settings you can also produce colored engravings on titanium. With a dense hatching pattern and by defocusing the beam for a few millimeters, you can produce a wide range of colors on titanium. This process is called annealing. It is heating the metal to the different temperatures which cause the colored oxide layer to form on the surface. This is permanent coloring that does not come off easily. With some practice you can make a very cool colored designs on titanium. But the colors are very hard to get right, as the color heavily depends on the defocusing distance. This is why the color of the wave behind the surfer is red instead of blue in this engraving. But it is still very cool. If you use a lot of passes, you can remove a lot of material and produce very deep engravings like this engraving I did on brass. First, I did a lot of powerful engraving passes with high power and low frequency, followed by a lot of cleanup passes with low power and high frequency. The whole job took almost half an hour. The engraving has some good depth to it. I used the cleanup passes only for the deep parts, which left a nice looking dark edge around the engraved vectors for easier readability. Check the video description for more information about this laser. Please like this video if you learned something new. And consider subscribing to stay in tune with everything laser related. Thanks for watching.